All right, everybody. So we've got a pretty giant mule deer right here. That guy is a beauty. And I do see one deduction on one of those tines, this little tine right there. But the other ones are looking pretty solid. So this guy should be a pretty decent scoring buck. I wouldn't be surprised if it pushed 200. But uh, then again, I don't know how bad that deduction is actually going to hurt him. So who knows? We will see very shortly. I do want to get him really close. Because I do need to kill some does with the 44 Magnum for a mission. So, if possible, I'd like to be able to kill that buck. And then immediately switch over to these does that are over here. But, uh, who knows how that's gonna go. That guy is such a giant, though. Like, even from just right here, you can really see how big he is. Just by how much his rack reaches over all of the other racks in the area. It's just so much taller, but it is a little uneven and that is kind of concerning me that it might hurt the score a bit. That left antler is not quite as tall as the right one, sadly, so that might influence the score a bit. Okay, this guy is really, really close now. We should be able to get a shot on him and that is a beautiful buck for sure. That should get him down. Let's see if we can... We hit her. And we hit that one too. So we hit two of the does. Hopefully they will die so we can kind of work towards getting that mission completed. But we did nail that buck and it looked like it was a good shot. But we will see shortly. And that right there is maybe body? Wow, that's body blood. Okay. I didn't realize how weak the 44 Magnum was. I honestly thought it would be able to hit a lung from that angle. Well, you learn something new every day, and we now have to track this guy, but that probably means that those does are not going to be even close to dying, so not even going to worry about those. I don't really think it's worth going after the does anymore. So let's just try to get this buck. All right, so that buck did eventually die and it actually didn't run as far as I expected it to. So it actually might be worth it to go back and grab those does because I'm sure they probably did eventually die. But this guy right here, he honestly didn't run that far, which is nice. I think we might've been a bit far forward. That could be our issue there. But anyway, let's check this guy's score. 198 that is a pretty big buck not a monster but a very solid solid deer for sure oh uh, we'll have to just deal with this i guess i couldn't really get it to position any better so that's gonna have to do right there but yeah not too bad of a buck for sure all right so right in front of us we actually have some decent deer for sure these guys are definitely solid bucks Got a 130 to 225. This guy right here is the one that I'm really looking at. I think he's probably the best. And then we have a couple kind of mid-sized ones here, but I think this guy's probably the better of the two out of these guys right here. So hopefully we can get this guy down and hopefully he'll score good. Honestly, I think what might be best here is uh, after we put a uh, scent cover on, because I forgot once again, as I always do, we might want to just use the 7mm and try to take them out quickly. In fact, yeah, let's do that. All right, well, we got two of them. Don't know where the others went, but those two should die. No problem. But I wanted to use the rifle there because there was no way that I'd be able to kill them with the bow and have it actually kill them. So I figured this would be the best way. Unfortunately, we got body on that first one. I don't know how. Maybe we were just a little bit too far back. I don't know. But either way, it wasn't exactly how I hoped it would go. But we did put a second shot into at least one of them. So one of them for sure died. Uh, the other one's probably close to dying. And that's actually a pretty big set of sheds right there. Uh, let's go ahead and pick these up. <laughs> 208 sheds. That's not bad at all. But let's go ahead and continue searching for these. 
All right, so yeah, here is one of them. I don't know which one this is. Uh, I want to say this is the first one we shot. I guess we could look at where we hit it, and that would kind of give us an idea. Okay, so this is probably the second one anyway. Let's go ahead and claim this guy. And 181, yeah, this is the second one that we shot. Definitely the second one, but still a solid buck. Eh, good enough. We'll go with that for now. Let's go see if we can find that other one. I'm pretty sure it should have died by now. And yep, there it is. It didn't run too far at all. Definitely went down relatively fast, so that's good. I kind of figured it would because it was bleeding quite a bit and it started slowing down shortly after we shot it. So here he is. This was the bigger one of the two. So this is probably a 190 at least. Oh wow, 178. Okay, this guy's probably got some major deductions, and I I could have swore he was bigger. Although he does have a short tine and some stickers. Ooh, that probably kills the score, to be honest, but... Wow, okay, so he's a little bit smaller than what I thought he was, but I mean, still a good buck. But I didn't really account for the deductions on him. I do want to see what he'd be uh, without the deductions. All right, since we don't have light... This is probably the best we're going to get, so let's see if we can... Well, let's do chrome. It does kind of show things a little bit better in these low-light scenarios, so... I do recommend using this filter if you're in kind of a low-light area, because it does kind of make things pop out a little better. Okay, so here's another decent-sized buck. Uh, I'm not even going to try to guess an estimate this time, because I'm always way off with Mule Deer. I can never tell when it's those like 170 to 190 bucks. They all look very similar to me. I do need to get a little bit better at determining what the scores of them are. I've gotten pretty good with Whitetail, but I still need a little bit of work with Muleys. I really wish that when I played this game a lot back in the day, I really wish that I had actually uh. taken the time to learn how to estimate based off of their rack, but for the most part I just played for fun when I used to play a lot, so I'm still learning a lot of this, so it's kind of a new experience for a lot of things. But this one right here definitely does look solid. He's probably another 180s buck if I were to take a guess, but it's so hard to tell. Uh, he's looking at us. Let's go ahead and just try to get a shot in there. And there we go. So that'll take care of him. Now, once we claim him, we'll go ahead and toss this tower up. This guy looks a little bit better than the last couple ones that we took out, but I don't know. He definitely doesn't have a ton of stickers and stuff, which is nice. That will help when it comes to getting a good score, but 186, yeah, he's not too bad. He's definitely a decent buck. I'd say good enough. We will wait for the sun to come back, but I say this looks all right and there we go that should be good enough go ahead and do chroma for this one not too bad all right everybody so we got a little non-typical mule deer sitting right here this guy's actually got a really cool rack i really like the way this thing is twisted around like that it is a small one but that's got to be one of the coolest looking non-tips i've ever seen and i'm really really happy that we're going to get to take this guy out but this is really, really cool. I'm super, super happy that this little guy's coming in. It's definitely one of the funkiest looking mule deer I think I've ever seen, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. That is quite the awesome looking muley. He's small, but like, I really don't even care that he's just a small one. I do, however, need to put on some scent cover because I didn't do that. But anyway. Let's wait for him to get a little bit further over, although I might be able to just creep to the side. And there we go. Let's go ahead and take that guy out. We do have this other buck over here that I'll probably have to take out also real quickly. He's nothing too special, though. Oh, he moved right as I shot. He turned. We will need to maybe inch a little closer. There we go. This is pretty cool. It's been a long time since I've seen a non-tip muley. And this guy's got one of the most interesting racks 
I think I've ever seen just in general in this game. So there we go, 113. Go ahead and turn him in a direction that we can actually see the rack nice. Yeah, that's really, really cool. I really like that rack. Probably one of the nicer looking non-tips I've ever seen. And I'd say that's a pretty good picture of it right there. Uh, maybe just angle it a little more this way. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then we will taxidermize this little guy. That is awesome. All right, so this is actually right after we got that non-typical. We actually have a pretty good size feral hog coming in. 850 to 1230 on the score estimate. And those teeth are looking pretty big. I think this very well could be a really good sized one. It's definitely one of the biggest ones I've seen in a long time. So that's going to be really cool to get this guy down. I am going to wait for it to come into bow range because I don't want to spook any other potential animals in the area. So we'll just call it in. Now one thing I am noticing is one side is way bigger than the other side. So obviously that's going to hurt the score a little bit probably. I Honestly I don't know how they're scored. I'm not sure if it's... I'm assuming that it has to do with the teeth and the weight of the animal maybe. Uh, you guys let me know exactly how these guys are scored. All I know is it's been a long time since I've seen one that looks this big. So it's definitely going to be a good one. I wouldn't be surprised if it pushed over 1,000 or 1,100. I think it'll for sure reach 1,000. Maybe even 1,100. But I am concerned about the length of that one side. So that could definitely hurt it. I'll have to take a look at the scorecard and actually check how much each thing is factored in with these guys. Since they are something I really don't hunt a lot. Even back when I used to play this game all the time, I rarely went for them because they just weren't super interesting to me. I always liked the deer species a lot more. As most of you already know, I'm a huge fan of any antlered game. Anything else is kind of just species specific on whether or not I'll like it or not. And feral hogs just never interested me a ton, but I think this might be the biggest one I've ever seen in my entire time playing. Well, we actually do have some mule deer does. This is actually what I've been waiting for because I still need two does for the 44 Magnum mission. So that's going to be very, very helpful if we can get them to come in too. But while we're waiting for those to come in, let's go ahead and get this guy down since he's really close now. See if we can get him to stop and then, oh, that's not going to work. Got to stand up. And that will take care of him. Let's quickly get down here quietly. And then claim this guy before the does get here. Let's see if this guy is going to be a decent one. 1,076. Yeah, this guy's pretty big. Definitely a nice one. Definitely a nice looking one. I bet that one side did hurt it though. So that's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Can't really do too much about it. You know... If this bow was touching the ground, this would actually look pretty good, but sadly it's not touching the ground, so it doesn't really work as much as I'd like it to. I do like how this looks though. I think that is really awesome looking, and it really shows off his size too. So we're going to do that. I'm not going to tax this guy yet. I am going to ask in the Discord real quickly if this is a good sized one, and then at the end of the hunt I'll tax it if it is anything decent, but I'm pretty sure... It's probably not tax worthy until I get one that's 1100 or above, but still really cool to get. All right, everybody, we are now in the trophy lodge. What you guys just saw was a bunch of clips from the last couple hours doing the last few missions for the mule deer. And we got a few decent kills, but this guy was by far the best of them. One of the coolest non-typicals I've ever seen, and that goes for pretty much just anywhere. This is probably one of the coolest ones that I've ever come across. One of the coolest I've seen posted anywhere. You just don't see them looking like this too often. This guy actually looks relatively realistic, which is pretty cool. For being a small one, this is honestly what I would imagine a non-typical looking like. He's got this one antler that looks relatively normal except for a few bent points. And then you got this other one right here that is just all kinds of little tiny points. And just look at all of the tiny little stickers coming off of that eye guard. That looks so cool. And this is by far... Probably my favorite thing that's in my lodges now. I think that's really, really cool. Definitely an awesome trophy, so 
Hope you guys enjoyed this little highlight video of me grinding the Mule Deer missions, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace! If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.